What about this Indian bowling attack? They have struggled in parts, you know, Leicester and Derby. Well, not not reading too much in the in the practice games, of course, but yes, they have struggled to close down um, winning moments. They were in good position in Johannesburg in Auckland. Um, they were not able to go on and win from there. They came within a couple of wickets of winning those matches, but just couldn't close down. Ta- close down. Um, gave away too many runs, too many. Um, you know, deliveries to be hit for boundaries. Uh, these bowlers have struggled to, you know, if they have one good spell and they have the an- another good spell, the gap between those two good spells is quite big. So they have not been able to string together good spells, which has been the reason why they haven't really got to any wickets. Obviously, India also don't play to their strengths. That's spin. Obviously, difference in wickets doesn't allow that. And when you have somebody like an R. Ashwin or even Jadeja, they have to bowl within their limits unless you get a really placid track or a really spinning, spin-friendly track like like in Durban where Ravindra Jadeja was able to um, take six wickets. But that seldom happens, and I doubt that will happen in in England, probably the fifth test in Oval, maybe, again, who mm-hmm. knows. But um, uh, having said that, a uh, lot of inexperience in this bowling attack. Ishan Sharma has is the most experienced um, test bowler around. And for Indian fans, that could be a scary thought because uh, with Ishan Sharma, he is, you know, he doesn't look like a bowler who's bowled, who's played 50 tests. Uh, Shane Warne once said that, you know, Monty Punis has played the same test again and again. Yep. You could say the same thing about Ishan Sharma. It's just, it is good that he's learning with every test match, but you cannot keep learning for 50 tests. It has to show in some way, and it has to show now when Zahir Khan's not there. Otherwise, yes, we have six bowlers, six medium pacers, um, all of them raring to go. Bhuvneshwar Kumar, I think he could be magnificent in English conditions. Uh, Mohamed Shami is, 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 has got good speed. Varun Aran has good speed. Ishwar Pandey and Pankaj Sinha, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing them bowl, especially in England, because they can get that natural uh, length, they can get that natural swing away from the batsman, and they have good bounce. They're to- both, both of them tall bowlers. Uh, five tests means that they will get their chances sooner or later. Um, Ravindra Jareja and Ashwin bringing up the spin, and there's a lot of good vibe about Stuart Binney. He's, you mentioned the two practice games. While I wouldn't read too much about the bowling attack, I would really like to mention that Binny saw a lot of action in those two matches. So he could be in line to, you know, India could play five bowlers, maybe in the first test, maybe in later in the series. So he is somebody who who is um, uh, probably in line to make his test debut sometime during the series.